What's going on, YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood, DraftKings Attic, bringing my top picks for Friday's main NBA DFS slate. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into it, man. Before we get started, please drop a like on the video for me. It really helps out the channel. And as always, if you're new to DraftKings Attic, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's NBA slate. Yesterday, we had a three-game slate. All right, a couple of my picks didn't pan out too well for me. But it's okay. Um, the good thing about NBA is uh, you got a lot of games and you got options, all right? And uh, speaking about options, guys, with NBA, you got a slate every single day. So bankroll management is going to be very key. And just know that it's okay if you don't play every single day. All right, you can burn through a whole lot of cash with uh, NBA DFS, all right, if you're trying to play every single slate. All right, so just, you know, again, just be mindful of that, that you got several slates throughout the week. So it's not like NFL where you only get, you know, two or three slates a week. Um, you got, you know, you got options on, on NBA. So let's get into it. So last uh, last slate we had Harden, who scored 51.25. Didn't blow up, but didn't really uh, knock us out, out of our, our seats. Uh, you know, he had a terrible night shooting. He was like two for 13. Terrible night. Um, Westbrook definitely came to the, uh, uh, the, the arena ready to play, man. So. Um, we missed that one. Um, Lou Williams did well. 40 draft king points. Him and Kawhi put it on. All right. Mess up the Golden State Warriors homecoming. All right. Uh, Russell. Yeah. Like I just said, you know, Golden State. Different team this year, y'all. Got to keep that in mind. All right. Uh, Derek Rose did good with 31.25. All right. Um, he didn't blow out value, but he didn't he didn't snowflake on his either. And then Tucker with 29.25 was hitting those threes from the corner. So Tucker was a good play for us. So depending on who you mixed in with those guys, um, you could have did all right. But uh, definitely Giannis was the man of the night. All right, putting up like 70-something draft king points, a triple-double. Dude couldn't miss. All right, came into Houston and showed off. Okay, so it is what it is. But let's go ahead and get into today's slate, guys. Give me a follow over on Twitter at DK underscore Attic. All right, I put out tweets as far as uh, updates and also um, every now and then I throw out some lineups. So let's get into it. Draft Dashboard is my research tool of choice, guys. If you're interested in checking out the software for your own NBA lineup builds, go ahead and uh, check the comments. I mean, I'm sorry, the description of the video. It's a 30-day trial for one whole buck. All right, you get your cheat sheet as well, guys. So all right, let's go ahead and go to our position optimizer here in Draft Dashboard. All right, so first and foremost, we got a nine-game slate. We got a couple of small turbos. So, again, if nine games make your head hurt, there's too many options. Drop down to one of the turbo or the uh, night slate and uh, just play those. All right, well, you only got three and two games. All right, but I, I'm playing the main slate. So, first up and foremost, point guard. My point guard of choice tonight, I'm going back to the Kyrie Irving. He's at home in Brooklyn again. He gets another night with a great matchup going up against New York. His price went up a little bit, I think $200. All right, but as you can see in the past, he's done well against New York um, with 59, 42, and 49. All right, so with this new look, uh, Brooklyn team, no Kevin Durant. All right, Kyrie is doing a lot of the heavy lifting, and as you can see, he he, he lifted it with no problem. All right, so 76 draft king points, had an awesome night. Do I expect him to put up 76 again? Nope, but he could give me 50, could give me 55, all right, which is great for a guy that's 9K. Again, this is Kyrie, he got some upside as we saw with 76 DraftKings points, so Kyrie is somebody that I'm definitely going to have in my lineups. Next up, um, and uh, he's a point guard. My other point guard that I like, man, is Dame Lillard, man. All right, again, he put up a nice night. All right, he put up 50 DraftKings points, and they looked like he was going to snowflake, had a tough first half, then he came back in that second half and went nuclear. So he gets a great matchup going up against Sacramento, who just got pimped out by who? Rick Rubio. All right, so ravishing Rick Rubio. So, Dame Lillard should be easy night in the office. 8.8K going up against uh, Sacramento. All right. Again, look at the history. Averaging somewhere around 44 draft king points. But again, this is Dame Lillard. All right. I like that matchup. Um, yeah. So those are my two guards, point guard choices right now. Again, of course, guys, we got other guys on here that we um, that I like. My close second would have been Chris Paul. Chris Paul's in a good spot going up against Washington, who is a, uh, a great matchup for point guards, as we can see. They're ranked 23rd versus the position. All right, and Chris Paul just came off a nice night, too. All right, his opening night with his new team, Oklahoma City. Um, and he played a pretty decent defense, a.k.a. the uh, Utah Jazz, who's normally a pretty um, stout defensive team and a slower pace team. So with this Washington team up pace, Chris Paul could be in for a good night, guys. So uh, definitely uh, want to uh, keep an eye out for Chris Paul. Um, Charlotte, whoever Charlotte's point guard is, going up against Jeff Teague. All right, 
definitely uh, somebody you want to look at. I, I, like, I like attacking certain teams. So that's Terry Rozier at 6.6K, coming off a rough night. So he could be somebody to sneak in and uh, get you a nice little low uh, 6 to 10 times value there. Um, because, uh, again, Minnesota's a team that you uh, definitely can attack at the point guard spot. So uh, let's go ahead and go on over to our shooting guard. Shooting guard today uh, for me is going to be where my man at. There we go. Will Barton. All right. Guys playing somewhere around 30 minutes. Started last game. All righty. Um, at 5.2K going up against Phoenix. Yeah, I see what this says over here, but this is a different Phoenix team. All righty. Again, I like Will Barton. Major part of this offense. He does, it's not necessarily just offense, but he does a little bit of everything. He fills up the stat sheets. And at 5.2K going up against Phoenix, I like his chances of uh, of uh, supplying some value at 5.2K. So uh, Will Barton is on my on my radar for my shooting guard. Um, of course, Dunsick at the top, man, going up against New Orleans, uh, a team that plays fast pace. Could be a lot of back and forth with that team. And, uh, of course, Dunsick is going to have the ball in his hands. So definitely somebody that I wouldn't shy away from. But uh, 9.2K, um, I'm looking to spin up in other, other spots, so I'm not sure if I'm going to pay that much for my shooting guard. Um, but, yeah. So right now, Will Barton, um, another honorable mention. Um, Devontae Graham did good this last game. All right. Him and the other guy had an all outstanding game for uh, for Charlotte. All right. So he's definitely somebody that you could definitely consider. Um, coming a little further down, just trying to find you guys some value plays. Um, we got some injuries over there in uh, Sacramento with Buddy Hill being questionable with some kind of ankle sprain. So keep an eye on that matchup. Um, Bogdanovich could, could be in play if uh, we get Buddy Hill sitting down or maybe Trevor Reza old. Older self get uh get some extra minutes. Not sure. All right, cause Trevor Reese is on that team, so I might probably go with Bogdan myself. But uh, hey, there you go. All right, next up, small forward. So at small forward, right now my favorite small forward on the slate. All right, it's gonna be, nah, I'm not gonna say Torian Prince, but let's go down a little bit further. Again, Will Barton is gonna be the person I run that small forward. All right, not at my shooting guard. I'll probably run him at my small forward. But as a, as a close second, I like Terry and, uh, Terry and Prince. All right, this guy just put up 40 points, all right, in that game, the overtime game with Minnesota. All right, now he gets a matchup versus Brooklyn, I mean, versus New York, which is a good matchup for the position. And, again, he's playing the minutes. He's putting up the shots. He had double-digit shots. So at 5.6K, going up against New York. Um, again, I like this Brooklyn team, man. They put up a lot of points versus Minnesota, and I expect them to do the same thing with New York. And Vegas agrees with me with a 227 point over and under projected for this particular uh, matchup. All right, so that's a pretty nice number there. Um, on the other side, Marquise Morris did well, put up 24 uh, actual real life points, had a nice stat sheet at 5.2K going up against Brooklyn. It looks like New York is leaning on 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 uh, him for production. Him and uh, Randall, all right, down low. So um, that could be somebody that you look at at 5.2K. Again, a stat sh uh, sh uh, sheet stuffer, all right, with block steals, uh, three-pointers, um, regular points, all right. So that's definitely somebody that you can look at. But right now, at my small forward, I'm going with um, with Barton. At power forward, of course, you got Tatum, too. Tatum's in a good spot versus Toronto, who he has good history against as well. So at my power forward, Julius Randle, I like him as well. He's not the guy that I'm going to have in my, in my top five, but Julius Randle somebody I definitely want to mention. He had a monster game last game as well, and his price only went up a little bit. Now he gets a matchup versus Brooklyn, who just got murdered, all right, by Carl Anthony Towns. So uh, 8.1K, I like Julius Randle in that spot. Uh, coming down a little bit further, uh, some other people that I like here at Power Forward again, Terry and, um, Prince is Power Forward eligible. All right, again, like I said, Morris. Also, Barnes could be in play. He's a little inconsistent for me personally, but as you can see, he's put up 19, 30, and 20 versus Portland in the past, and he's only 4.8K. They don't have Bagley. They could be without Buddy Hill, so that could mean some extra work for some other guys, but it is a tough matchup versus Portland. All right, Jingling Joe Ingles. All right, this guy is only 4.6K. He plays a decent amount of minutes, and look at his history versus the Lakers. All right, light him up. So, Joe Ingles is somebody that you definitely could consider, guys. All right. And, uh, yeah, so when it comes to my uh, power forward. Oh, Frank Kaminsky. Forgot about him. 
Go ahead and scroll down. Now, on matchup, doesn't look great, right? Going up against uh, Denver. But this guy should get some extra run now with their starting center being suspended. DeAndre Ayton is going to be out for a little while. Not sure if it's going to be 25 games or not. Going through the appeal process, it could be a little bit less. But he's definitely going to be out tomorrow. I mean, today. And so, at 3.3K, Kaminsky being the center number two, looking to get some extra minutes and extra uh, time, that price is not set for him to be a starter and to play play more minutes. So, in that case, 3.3K, Frank Kaminsky is close to a lock and load uh, for me. So, um, that's my uh, power forwards that I have at the moment. My favorites, again, not the only ones I like, but my favorites. And last but not least, my centers um, play. And as, as well, guys, do me a favor. Drop a comment for me. Who's your favorite player on the slate, period? So this is the guy that you're going to have in your lineups without a doubt. So just, just that one player. Drop the comment below. Let me know who's your favorite player on the slate. We got nine games, so that's a whole lot of options. All right. So at center, like I said, Carl Anthony Towns is definitely in play again. Again, do I expect him to get 74? No, but maybe gets me 60 or 58. All right. And at 10.8K going up against Charlotte. All right. Which uh, he has had success against in the past, as you can see, 39, 73, and 57. All right, Carl Anthony Towns definitely in play at 10.8K. Uh, Jokic, Jokic is probably my favorite center right now going up against Phoenix. I just said DeAndre Aiden is out. All righty, you got Kaminsky or whoever the case may be um, playing the backup when it comes to the uh, center. So at 9.3K, Jokic should be able to eat, as we can see, 49 and 53 in the last two matchups in that 9.3K. That's an awesome, awesome number line. Rudy Gobert is in play going up against the Lakers. They're missing a lot of shots, a lot of rebound opportunities. Um, again, look at his history versus this team, 46, 47, and 41. A nice track record. Yes, Rudy Gobert came off a, a pitiful game this last game going up against OKC. All right. He only put up like, I think, 22 DraftKings points. All righty. But, again, Gobert against the Lakers, I like him. He's in play in my opinion. I already talked about Julius Randle under my power fours. Now, Hassan Whiteside, y'all. Okay, let's talk about this guy. Playing in, playing in Portland, right? 7.2K. Now, this guy is a boomer bust guy, yes. But it's the beginning of the season. He's healthy. He's getting the minutes. And he has a great matchup versus Sacramento. Look at his, look at his history versus Sacramento. 59 and 54. This guy can put up 20-20 in less than 20 minutes, and nobody will be surprised. All right, the only issue is that we don't know when he's going to play and how he's going to play. But it looks like with this Portland team, he should have – a uh, uh, some solid minutes. So at 7.2K, don't sleep on Hassan Whiteside. Definitely a good GPP play in my opinion. Now I would lock him in cash, but hey man, Hassan Whiteside can give you 55 DraftKings points at 7K, which would be awesome. So keep your eyes out on Mr. Hassan Whiteside. Cool, cool. Yeah, I wouldn't play Dwayne Dedman, even though he's only 4K. Sacramento is losing Bagley. Yeah, I don't know about that one. All right, so th those are going to be my favorite picks right now, guys. So let's go ahead and look at them over on DraftKings. So this is our DraftKings lineup. If you load up my favorite plays, this is what you will have left over. You got Kyrie going up against New York, coming off that monster game of 76, all right, with 50 actual real points. Man, dude took 33 shots, 14 three-pointers. He was lighting them up. So let's hopefully, hopefully he can keep that heat going. So uh, Will Barton at 5.2K going up against Phoenix. Coming off a game where he played against Portland, played 31 minutes. Again, fill up the stat sheets. He had a couple of three-pointers, some rebounds, some assists, a block, some steals. He does a little bit of everything. So at 5.2K going up against the Phoenix team, um, I do like uh, Will Barton. Frank Kaminsky, just a salary play, all right, with them losing their starting um, center. All right, this guy should get some extra run. And at 3.3K, he's good to go. Keep an eye out for the starting lineups, but this guy should be should be running. Jokic, on the other side of that whole transa transaction, <laughs> all right, Jokic should be okay to get his. At 9.3K against Portland, only played 24 minutes. I'm assuming he got into some foul trouble. Yep, personal fouls, four. All right, but look at that. He put up 40 DraftKings points and only 24 minutes played. So, going up against Phoenix, I like Jokic in this matchup. And then Dame, big game Dame, again, coming off a 51-point performance versus Denver. All right, again, had a terrible shooting first half, came back second half, got it going. As you can see, he was only 3 for 10 from the three-point line. All right, but he put up 51 DraftKings points. All right, eight assists, four rebounds. All right, again, Dame Lillard, 8.8K going up against Sacramento. 
Um, I love him in this matchup. Yes, it's on the road, but it's, it's Dame. I like that matchup. So those are my top five plays. Again, leaves you 4,800 for the last three positions. You definitely could do something there. For some reason, you don't like a player. Like, let's say you don't like Dame Lillard. Go ahead and drop him off and put somebody else in that spot for your guard or vice versa. So these are my top plays. Thank you, guys. Hey, again, remember, NBA, a lot of slates, a lot of options. You don't have to play every night. I would stick with majority cash and uh, double ups and head to heads, things of that nature, and play a couple of tournaments. Um, shit, I scored 300 points last night and still didn't cash. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you got to get up there, man. So, um, yeah, so don't forget, drop a comment below, guys. Let me know who is your favorite must have player on today's slate. Don't forget to like the video. New to the channel, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next slate. Peace.